Sony has just released the trailer for their newest supervillain origin story. Morbius stars Jared Leto as the title character and will be released in cinemas on July 31st, 2020. In the trailer, we get to see a lot of Easter eggs connecting the film to the Marvel Cinematic Universe and Tom Holland's portrayal of Spider-Man. But despite the context seeming to refer to the newest Spider-Man franchise, there are also some hints that Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man will be referenced in the film. Can we expect an appearance from Tobey Maguire's Peter Parker? Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man is a fan favorite. Andrew Garfield and Tom Holland have donned the Web Slinger's costume since then, but Maguire's version of Peter Parker is still remembered pretty fondly. And while we love Tom Holland as Peter Parker, it would also be fun to see Maguire return to the role. That's why we were so excited to see a picture of him in the trailer for Morbius. The most obvious hint at a Spider-Man reference in the trailer comes in the form of graffiti. While dressed in a prison jumpsuit, Morbius passes by a wall that features a large image of Spider-Man. While the text over the graffiti seems like a reference to Tom Holland's Spider-Man defeating Mysterio in Spider-Man Far From Home, an action which Mysterio used to turn citizens against him, the actual image of Spider-Man used looks very similar to the version of the hero we saw in the films that Tobey Maguire starred in. The pose Spider-Man strikes is very similar to images of Tobey Maguire as Peter Parker on the Spider-Man posters. And the costume isn't the flashy, updated CGI version that we've seen in the most recent MCU Spider-Man and Avengers films. The costume is definitely more similar to what Peter Parker makes for himself in the 2002 film. And with fans feeling nostalgic for Tobey Maguire's iconic Spider-Man, it's no surprise that Sony would want to pay homage to the character in an image that is prominently displayed in the trailer. But does this mean that Tobey Maguire will be returning to the Spider-Man role? What's more likely is that the image was a fun Easter egg for fans of Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. And it wasn't the only Spider-Man reference that the trailer used to confirm that the Morbius film would be taking place in the Spider-Man slash Marvel Universe. First, there's the Marvel logo that appears at the very beginning of the trailer. Then the graffiti references the most recent MCU film, Far From Home. And at the end of the trailer, we see the most interesting connection yet. Michael Keaton as the Vulture. He first appeared as the villain in Tom Holland's Spider-Man film, Homecoming. This hints that Morbius might face Spider-Man as well, though probably not in this movie. Theories have been floating around of a Sinister Six being created with the Vulture as their leader, and perhaps Morbius is going to confirm or at least shed some light on those theories. And Tom Holland has actually been rumored to appear in another Sony film connected to Morbius, the sequel to Venom. This rumored appearance paired with the Spider-Man references in the new Morbius trailer probably confirms the connection between the universes and promises a Spider-Man crossover in the future. So while we might not get to see Tobey Maguire reprise his role as Spider-Man just yet, we'll probably get the chance to see more references to his portrayal in the future. After all, it's a fan favorite. And as the MCU continues to grow and establish concepts like different timelines, maybe a reprisal isn't totally out of the question. So, do you think Morbius might feature more references to Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man? And do you think we can expect a cameo performance in the future? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe.